So in order to make the ghost respawn, we're going to have to eat it with a power pellet. But I don't want to code that yet. So I'm just going to set up um, public bool test respawn, a variable. And then in our update, it's just going to say if test respawn equals true, then uh, ghost node state equals ghost node state enum dot respawning. So basically, if I'm in the inspector and I check off the checkbox for test respawn, it will call this. And then we'll just set test respawn back to false. Okay, so let's test to make sure that works. All right, our ghost, as you can see, is in our starting red position. It's not moving because we are not ready to leave home. Red, by default, is going to be ready to leave home, but we'll set that up in a second. So we can see our state is start node, but if we select test respawn, it changes our state to respawning. Okay, so we are actually going to fix this right away with the ready to leave home thing. We're going to say if... Oh wait, we already have if ghost type equals red, then ready to leave home equals true. All right, so that'll solve that problem. But now we are going to have a respawning section. So this time we need to get the closest direction to our start node. Luckily, we already have all the programming in order to do this. String direction equal to get closest direction um, to our start ghost node start or actually yeah it would be no ghost node start and then dot transform dot position then we need to set the direction set direction okay so now our ghost, um, when we start respawning it, should automatically find the closest direction to be able to get it back to home. Okay, so right now it's chasing me. But if we click test respawn, you can see it stopped chasing me, hopefully, and is moving towards our home. And of course, we have encoded the rest of it, so it's going to move right past home. So now we're going to need to create a respawn state. So public ghost type respawn state. Uh, because we don't actually want to technically go back to our starting position because red starting position isn't in the home. So we're going to need to create a respawn state that basically tells us where we want to go back to. So if we're red, we want our respawn state to equal ghost node states enum dot center node. We're just going to go back to center. It did not like that. Oh, my bad. I was supposed to set this to ghost node states enum. And the rest of them are actually just going to be identical. So center node left node, they're going to respawn back to their original positions. Okay. So we're going to want to determine where we currently are. Um, so we're going to say if transform dot position dot x equals uh, start uh, ghost start node ghost node start dot transform.position.x and transform.position.y equals ghost node start dot transform dot position dot y then we have reached our start node move to the center node um, then up here we're actually going to declare string direction and then down here we're just going to set remove that because we're going to be able to access direction everywhere now here we'll set direction equal to down then we're going to say else if our transform dot position 
equals ghost node center ghost node center okay so we have reached our center node either finish respawn or move to the left right node so right now we are in a predicament where sometimes once we reach the center if you're pink or red you're going to immediately leave but if you are blue or orange you're going to continue moving to the left or the right so we're going to say if respawn state equals ghost node states enum dot center node then then we're done we reached the center node and we are ready to respawn so at that point we're just going to set our ghost node state to equal its respawn state and it will redo the whole um, leaving a home thing otherwise if our respawn state equals ghost node state enum dot left node then we're going to want to move our direction to the left else if respawn state equals ghost node state enum dot right node then we're going to set our direction to right and then finally we're going to say else if transform dot position equals ghost node left dot transform dot position oh, I forgot to put X and transform dot position dot y equals ghost node left dot transform dot position dot y and we are going to have two conditions here okay or we are equal to our ghost node right and make sure you add that twice then we are going to set our ghost node state to equal respawn state so if our respawn state is either the left or right node and we got to that node leave home again finally else that is when we are going to we are in the game board still locate our start node okay so that was so much code that I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't work so let's go into the game and just test this out all right so i already know it is not going to work and the reason why is because our start node this one right here when it first loaded the game it recognized that we did not have a node below it and so it actually deleted our center node so what we're actually going to do is reference our ghost nodes in our game manager we can do the same thing we did with our ones here we're just going to copy them in to our game manager okay so now we have access to our ghost nodes and now in our node controller we're gonna have another variable called uh, public bool is ghost starting node they're going to be set to false by default because we're only going to have one that's true. And then after we do all of our raycasts, we're just going to say if, uh, what did I name that? Is ghost starting node? Then can move down equals true. And node down equals game manager 
dot ghost node center. Okay. So now, oh, we have an error. We missed a semicolon. So now if we load the game, our ghost start node should also detect that we have a node below it. However, it did not because we didn't select is ghost starting node. So let's try that again. Oh, actually, we also need to put it into the game manager. So let's go to our, let's just minimize this nodes. And we're going to go to our game manager. And we need to make sure oh, that we drag in the start node, the center node, right node, and the left node. And then honestly, rather than do it in the inspector, on awake, we can say ghost node start dot get component node controller dot is ghost starting node equal to true. Okay, let's try and reload this again. And I believe that should work if we select respawning. It should now be responding and it should go back into its node. Okay, and then once we're ready to leave home, it leaves its node. Now, I believe there's going to be one problem. I think I might be able to go into the node. Yeah, so because it can now move down, we are able to easily go back into that node. Same with the ghost. You can see the ghost was not responding. They moved back into their node and they were able to move around. So we're going to go to our movement controller and we're basically going to say if we are not a ghost that is responding and we are on the start node and we are trying to move down stop. So we're going to say if current node controller dot is ghost starting node and direction equals down and we are not a ghost or we are a ghost and get component enemy controller actually let's just put this down here dot ghost node state does not equal enemy controller dot ghost node state enum dot respawning so if the current node that we're on is the starting node the direction is down and we're not a ghost or we are a ghost and we're not responding then we don't want to be able to actually do our direction so we're just going to say direction equals last moving direction Let's try that. Okay, and I am not able to go inside the ghost house. Now let's make the, sure the ghost can't go into the ghost house either. They cannot. Um, I'm going to test this one more time. Let's go over to the right. Technically the closest direction is down, and it cannot. But if we set it to respawning, and then we set it to speed 2. Okay, cool. So now what we're going to do is if we are responding or if we call the test respawn we want to set where did i do that that was the enemy controller wasn't it test respawn yeah we want to set ready to leave home equal to false because you guys may have gotten an error where it was automatically doing it i was clicking it in the inspector i was on checking ready to leave home so if ready to leave home is still true it'll automatically go into home and then exit home but what we can do now is set test respawn to true it's just up at speed it's responding and it's in home and now if we select ready to leave home it will come back out and it will try and get us instead <laughs> 